What's up guys, Delonte here. Welcome back to the channel. This is a battle of the highest of high class active noise canceling wireless Bluetooth headphones. Today we're gonna to be comparing Apple's AirPods Max, which is a 550 US dollar pair of wireless Bluetooth headphones, currently on sale for 479 US dollars at Amazon, Link in the description if you're interested against Mark Levinson's number 5909 headphones, which is a 1000 US dollar pair of wireless Bluetooth headphones. Neither of the headphones feel cheap at all. Both are using premium materials. As you see here, neither should pose a problem for people with larger heads or being extended beyond what a normal person would extend. The number 5909 headphones are using anodized aluminum on the headband and you immediately get the smell of genuine leather when you open the package. The number 5909 headphones are using plastic materials for the ear cups with the Mark Levinson name prominently displayed on the outside of the ear cup. Mark Levinson has even provided a microfiber cloth so you can keep your $1,000 pair of headphones nice and shiny. The number 5909 headphones are available in pearl black, ice pewter, and radiant red colors. The AirPods Max are using anodized aluminum on the ear cups and stainless steel on the headband. The headphones are cold to the touch when you first open the packaging. Now, there are a ton of accessories for the AirPods Max, which would allow you to customize your headphones to your liking. The AirPods Max are available in the space gray, silver, pink, green, and sky blue colors. Both headphones are using the telescoping arms, which do a really good job at keeping the headphones where you need them to be. Both have done a really good job with the unboxing experience, and both should last you for the long haul with premium materials. The clamping force is minimal on the number 5909 headphones. Now the headphones weigh about 12 ounces, but the headphones are balanced. I've never really had an issue using the headphones for long listening sessions. There's also cushion at the top of the headphones and the ear cups are large, deep, and wide. I've never really had an issue at all with my ears touching the inside of the ear cups. The ear cups are also replaceable, so no worries if the ear cups get damaged for whatever reason or lost. The AirPods Max weigh 13.6 ounces, but surprisingly, the headphones are balanced from the aluminum ear cups to the mesh band at the top. Now, you will feel clamping force with these headphones, but it's not an overbearing clamping force at all. The mesh band at the top has stood the test of time. I really thought I'd have a problem with these with this mesh band after about a year or so, but I am happy to say the mesh band still looks as good as when I first bought it. The ear cups are nice, deep, wide, and magnetized. So once again, you would have no issues with your ears touching the headphones or any type of ear fatigue. The ear cups are also replaceable. So once again, no worries at all if your ear cups are damaged beyond reasonable repair or loss. The case that comes with the number 5909 headphones was well thought out and provides the needed protection. There's a compartment at the top that houses all of the accessories and has a ton of room for the headphones. The case is sturdy, provides excellent protection, and can easily fit in something like a backpack with no worries. Now this isn't really a big secret, but the case that comes with Apple's AirPods Max is pretty bad. I mean, the case does not protect the headphones at all. I did a review on the AirPods Max Shield case by Waterfield Design. Now that case has done my AirPods Max well, linked in the description below if you're interested in actually protecting your AirPods Max while maintaining the smarts of the original Apple case. Another negative with the AirPods Max is with the ear cups. Moisture randomly enters the ear cups when listening to music. The number 5909 headphones have a problem with the on-head detection feature. It's really finicky right now. Now, I'm sure this is something that they'll patch really soon, and it may even be patched by the time you're watching this video. Now, I wouldn't recommend either of these headphones for going to the gym. But if you were to do it, Apple's AirPods Max clamp to your head strong enough to feel more secure knowing that the headphones won't fall off. Battery life is really good for the AirPods Max, 
but amazing on the number 5909 headphones. The AirPods Max gives you 20 hours of battery life while the number 5909 headphones gives you 30 hours of battery life with active noise canceling and 34 hours of battery life without active noise canceling. Quick charge is available on both headphones. A five minute charge would get you one and a half hours of playback time on the go with the AirPods Max while a 15 minute charge would get you six hours of playback time on the go with the number 5909 headphones. Both headphones use physical buttons to control the headphones. The AirPods Max uses a single Apple Watch style button that controls the volume, play pause, answer and end calls, and skip to slash previous tracks. Apple also uses a single button for the noise cancellation and transparency modes as well. Apple has done a really good job at simplifying the process. The number 5909 headphones have three buttons for the previously discussed features, which are laid out as most typical headphones. They also have the power on off switch and the noise cancellation slash transparency mode button on the other side. The number 5909 headphones give you everything you need to get started in the box. Now the USB-C port is used for playing the music and charging the headphones. You get three additional cords included in the box as well as three additional auxiliary accessories. Now you don't get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the headphones, but you do get a standard USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack an extended version of the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a USB-C to USB-C cord for charging. You also get a USB-C to USB-A adapter, a 3.5 millimeter to 6.3 millimeter adapter, and an airplane adapter, all included in the box. The AirPods Max, well, you would need to go out and purchase the Lightning to 3.5 millimeter audio cable. I personally feel Apple could have given us the Lightning to 3.5 millimeter audio cable, but but this is what we have. Multi-point connection is available for the number 5909 headphones, which has been great. You can easily switch between devices for calls, music, entertainment, and so on. The one thing the AirPods Max has that the number 5909 headphones don't have is an entire ecosystem. The Apple ecosystem has become very efficient and the fact that you can easily switch between devices on the Apple ecosystem has been a blessing in itself, but it's also become a sore spot. You see, the number 5909 headphones can be used on iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, and so on without losing features. Now, you can use the AirPods Max on Android but it's really not worth doing. You lose access to Siri, spatial audio, the ability to update the headphones, which is a pretty big deal in itself, and so on. Speaking of spatial audio, this is one of the primary reasons I would say you need the AirPods Max in your life. The head tracking feature is something special if you're watching a movie. It literally feels as though you are in a movie theater, but the number 5909 headphones has the beryllium coated drivers. You see, the 40 millimeter beryllium coated drivers provide efficient high frequency reproduction and reduces distortion, making the music sound amazing. Now you will get a chance to hear both headphones later on in the video. The Mark Levinson app is a set it and forget it style app and the controls on the AirPods Max are pretty much the same. The number 5909 headphones support AAC, AptX Adaptive for low latency and LDAC, which is Sony's proprietary Bluetooth codec that supports a bit rate of 990 kilobits per second. But LDAC is not supported on iOS. AAC is supported with iOS, as in the case with the AirPods Max. Also, the number 5909 headphones are using Bluetooth 5.1, whereas Apple's AirPods Max are using Bluetooth 5.0. I'm also happy to report that both headphones work well with YouTube, Hulu, and Netflix. So with all that being said, let's see how both headphones, noise cancellation, transparency mode, sound leakage, and call quality work in the real world. This is a test of the call quality of the AirPods Max with noise canceling in a quiet room. This is a test of the number 5909 headphones call quality with active noise canceling high in a quiet room. 
Okay, so this is a test of the AirPods Max call quality with noise canceling in a simulated airplane cabin. All right, so this is a test of the number 5909 headphones call quality with active noise canceling high in a simulated airplane cabin. All right, so this is a test of the AirPods Max call quality with noise canceling in a noisy cafe. All right, guys, so this is a test of the number 5909 call quality with active noise canceling high in a noisy cafe. All right, guys, so this is a test of the AirPods Max transparency mode. All right, guys, so this is a test of the number 5909 headphones transparency mode. <laughs> So what do you guys think? I think both headphones did a great job in the call quality department. Now the AirPods Max did come across a bit brighter, making it easier to understand the person talking, but I honestly don't think you'll go wrong with either. The AirPods Max had the noise cancellation hands down, but we are talking about one of the top three when it comes to active noise canceling headphones. The number 5909 headphones did a pretty good job as well. Turn on the noise cancellation and have some music playing in the background and that should definitely get rid of all the craziness going on around you. The AirPods Max has the transparency section one as well. It's a lot easier to hear your environment with the AirPods Max. Now the number 5909 headphones did a pretty good job in the transparency section as well and it would definitely get the job done when needed. As far as sound leakage, the test you just heard was conducted at 75% at approximately 18 inches away. Now this is perfect for a train setting, a plane setting, or a work environment where people are working in close proximity. 75% is pretty loud, but there's also a pretty big difference in the leakage on the test as well, which tells me that the number 5909 headphones does a much better job at controlling sound leakage than the AirPods Max. Our next section will allow you to hear the music as we hear it here in the studio using our binaural microphones. This is where you'll need those headphones. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think? We just heard from the two highest on the premium section of wireless Bluetooth headphones. Did one stand out more than the other? Cause I have to say, the tracks from the number 5909 headphones sounded more clearer. The instrument separation was a pleasure to listen to and the wide sound stage was just Wow. The number 5909 headphones are a balanced pair of headphones. Now the bass was set to neutral just to make sure both headphones were on the same playing field, but the bass was punchy, the mids sound clear, and the highs were crisp. The whole package complemented each other. The AirPods Max is a balanced pair of headphones as well. The AirPods Max also has a wide soundstage. The bass is punchy, but not too punchy to where it drowns everything else. The highs are nice and clear and the mids are exactly where they need to be. On the AirPods Max, you can turn the volume up all the way to the highest level with no distortion. 
but you can also do that with the number 5909 headphones. If you are in the Apple ecosystem and enjoy what the AirPods Max can give you within that ecosystem, want premium material, amazing call quality, great sound, and don't mind paying a premium, then Apple's AirPods Max may be the right headphones for you. Now let's be honest, the Mark Levinson number 5909 headphones will appeal to a certain niche person. And that niche person already knows if they wanna purchase the number 5909 headphones. So if you are looking for reference quality headphones, the ability to play high res music, headphones made from quality materials, sounds amazing, great call quality, and don't mind paying the premium plus, then the Mark Levinson number 5909 headphones definitely deserve your consideration and may be the right headphones for you.